Fisheries and Ocean Canada is consulting with a number of coastal communities to perhaps create a very large marine protected area 150 kilometers from the coast of Vancouver Island and the size would be 133 square kilometers 133,000 133,000 thank yeah, you Megan it's humongous. yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> critical critical error there yeah NASA worthy um, anyways the uh, <laughs> the, the name name is actually from the Could three coastal the communities. Bars, yeah. yeah. Tangguan is Bye. a Haida word meaning deep here? ocean. <laughs> Hachkikwa is a Nuchalnath and Pachidat word meaning the deepest part of the ocean. And Tsigis is a Quatsino word so got temperature meaning now, the monster of the deep. Uh, we, it's about to be, yeah. That's such a good move to be um, gone and then come back in and tap someone on the shoulder and be like, hey, I'll be right back. <laughs> and you're only gone for 30 seconds? Yeah. Okay. Oh, thanks. Thanks, man. Okay. <laughs> wait. Okay. Just Can you line me up with the vent, please? The camera. Looks like you're lining up to poke me in the eye. Here's open. <laughs> Uh, you want to zoom in a wee bit on there? Yeah. You've been seeing okay, for Ed. too long, Ed. Yeah. Coming in, but I'm going to keep that joint yeah. in no, frame. You can, you can throw it out of frame. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Just keep the tip in. All right. What do we I got? will. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to knock this block off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it just it was new. Go. I think it just yeah. was not past. there yeah. yesterday. They already reamed this out. So it's good we grabbed the reamer and... Yeah, yeah, we would have just been jabbing at it. Yeah. Can I just boink this in here? Yeah. It should, I mean... Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there it is. That's where they got the old one out of. That's the previous okay. job. Okay, come wide, please. Come out. All that for that. Oh. Well, don't uh, don't take too long getting this in the hole. Yeah, it uh, seems to... Moments. Build up pretty quickly. I had yeah. <laughs> moments will pass and... Uh, it's about to put this. Our hole will disappear. Uh, I guess that's how we get those nice big mm, chimneys, right? That's at hydrothermal exactly vents. Right, yeah. All they this just build uh, up oh, pretty yeah. quick. Will um, you come to regret this, Trevor? No, absolutely yeah. not. There's as no way this can end up badly for me. As it <laughs> melts its way <laughs> into the plastic. Yeah, it's fine. Um, it, this is a good vent for this because what will happen is it will actually cement the tip of our probe in and hold it really nice and stationary and prevent it from falling out. Are we leaving it in there? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Until awesome. next time, Neff. So when we got here, no, you're under the. Help me there was understand. An old one in Spin this it okay. when yeah. you so get it after you grab it. Jimmy it out. Wow. And it. Um, what? We could see the yeah. Dane alive. It okay, was. I agree with that. Uh, just about 300 degrees. There's a first for nice. everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As a practice, you know, I usually just disagree with that. Serve Who's pretty well. Uh, reflexively, yeah, it's not a bad habit. Um, who's the PI or uh, developer of the bars? Uh, internally, we've got Mr. Jeb Dexter. Oh, yeah. And I believe the bar's original design was done by Marv Lilly, yeah. uh, University of Washington. Dr. Marv Lilly. Hey, Jeb, make your cables less tangly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, come on, show yeah. it. Do it outside. Just grab the this thing. This one, I it. might be wrong, but I think this one might be just the disagreeing with new it refreshed like bars <laughs> that's that's that Jeb has put together for us. One of them is. One of them is. I'm not sure if it's I'm this sure or the other one. one. This one looks pretty fresh, though. I know Jeb has been working very hard to update the bars' internals. Yeah, we wouldn't be able it's to tell from the outside. It's just stuck. It's just thing. all the guts mm. that are new. Yeah, that's right. Well, now look at what you've done. Well, that's not <laughs> a good little hook. <laughs> uh, hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, can I get, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a conundrum. I'm just going to put it in this vent right here. Yeah. In the meantime. The bee bag vent. Not too far in the grating. Should have read that first. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. yeah.
the bead bag vent yeah. is reading uh, five degrees C. Oh yeah, five. Hot bead bag. Hot bag. It's a hot potato. Hot bag. There yeah. you go. Well done. Nice. Oh man. Fight that. Yes, self-centering, sure. Self-centered. Okay, mm -hmm. remember, horizontal, two feet above. Horizontal, both my feet are horizontal. Roger that. Two feet above. Shall I time it? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, okay, yeah. ready? Somebody's nope. got to do it. I'm unready. Unready. Yeah. You say the word, Trevor. Horizontal. You're not Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> I have one job. More horizontal, please. <laughs> More horizontal than that. All right, start the clock. Clock started. That's two feet, right? Sure. Yeah. Lasers. <laughs> it's a little bit closer than two feet, but. Thought about putting a meter stick marks on the There's edge of this probe. Oh, that's mm. a good idea. Our first increased reading is 17 degrees. We get huh. updates at every 15 seconds. Why are you so ahead of me? Oh, there it goes. Mm -hmm. I'm just faster. <laughs> refresh, <laughs> refresh. <laughs> I can't be a second. Oh, that dropped back down to six. So it can be. So we are getting live data reads, which is pretty cool on the Ocean's 3.0 platform. We're, we're getting that data the long way around as well. That's going yeah. to shore via a cable. To and Port Alberni. To Port Alberni, and then to the World Wide Web. Well, first it goes to our data center at University of Victoria. Oh yeah, there you go. And then the web, and then the satellite dome on the ship. Well, there's a tiny little satellite in between all that too. A what Is satellite? There any way you well, a tiny little satellite. It goes, yeah. From there, it goes to our uh, so we're downlink facility, up to a geostationary satellite, down to the vessel. We're not actually seeing Pretty any increase in temperature. Is there any way oh. you can get the probe a little bit more on top of the... Never mind. Can we get bubble Sorry. on the vent? Like, yeah. ah, you beat me, AJ. Closer. I was right going to say that. And, and we're one minute, 40 seconds in. Closer. Yeah, I think we might have to start that again. Yeah, we're going to have to restart yeah. the clock, A little Lauren. swing and a miss. There. It looks like the vent's kind of... In the current... Blowing yeah, in the breeze. Blowing to the side a little. Yeah. yeah. It's windy down here. Yeah, I'll say. Here we go again. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. Okay, you ready? Thanks. Yeah. Clock started. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's better. 21. See? Go do paperwork. <laughs> you got it in the right spot, Trevor. Mm -hmm. Or is that Dave? That was Trevor. Trevor, nice one. Uh, seems like it slid Team. out a little. Nope. About 40 degrees. This is a good spot. Yeah. Do you want something to do? And we're just doing this to make sure that we don't mess yeah. up the instrument, right? Yeah, it has a ceramic tip, and if it heats or cools too quickly, then it will crack and All break right. the instrument. And the reason we're holding it horizontal is to try to prevent smoke from building up on that tip. Okay. Or like, uh, I guess, like soot. Mineral deposits, Mineral perhaps. deposits, yeah. That's probably <laughs> what it actually is. Have we deployed anything down here to measure flow rate? of the vent? Um, we should have some instruments measuring flow rate nearby. I think there's an ADCP at MEF. There is an ADCP at MEF, yeah. Yeah. But that's not like a direct measurement right, of the of flow the coming out of the vent. Yeah. No, yeah, it's that's, yeah, correct. We part. don't have like a flow meter in a vent. That's yeah. what you're asking for. Yeah. yeah. There you Imagine. go, Ed. There's your retirement plan. You got to design right. one of those. So this is holding steady That's at 40 degrees Celsius. Scientific equipment. Yeah. And we are at 1 minute 45 seconds. Okay.
Yeah, there might be some uh, need for that because I remember working on the Deepwater Horizon event. It was very difficult to determine flow rate. We're That's probably good for us to we're move We're at two this. minutes, yeah. yeah. We can move Kay. this to one foot above the net, still foot. keeping it horizontal. It's funny how we still give um, directions in imperial units. We, yeah, we, yeah. we use such a hodgepodge of units. One foot. I'm surprised that... 30.04 centimeters. 52 <laughs> degrees. And we're, for <laughs> and we're here yeah. for one minute. Yeah, four. minutes don't change. Yeah, we should minutes be don't change. Well, <laughs> UTC, time, time zone. Yeah, I guess. There's it still all uses minutes. <laughs> it does, but there are some conversion factors there. Fair enough. <coughs> well, there we yeah. go, 75 degrees C. That's why on CBC they always say, you know. 87. 430 in St. in uh, just using the grid line. He was using a different I think we've unit. already established that um, I'm just a little bit ahead of you. Whoa. whoa. Do what you got to do. We got some back row position jostling happening here. Yeah. Pulling what? rank over there. Yeah. Hmm. 45 right seconds. On. That's the little doodger with the screws. We've leveled out at 87. Yeah. Remind me of our units. I, I think <laughs> One so. minute. Oh. Degrees, Degrees Celsius. Degrees Celsius. Degrees Celsius. Celsius. <laughs> Are you though? All right. All right, we're at a minute. We're at a minute. Kay. Okay, guys, we're six, six, six inches. You want to stay this wide? Uh, go ahead, go in, Ned. Coming a bit about there. Josh, I wouldn't have to tell you how to read if you, if you knew. I wouldn't have to tell you how to read if you knew. <laughs> There's six inches. <laughs> Again, six inches. It's six inches. 15 centimeters? What yeah. is that? Yeah. <laughs> yep. 15.2. And we're here for another minute. Yep. No, you Up don't. to 132 degrees. Why? All right, we're over 100, which was our target. Yeah, this is a great spot right here. <laughs> so what? I wonder how you test an instrument like this in a lab. That's a great question for Jim. I know. You use the inside of a McDonald's apple pie. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Molten lava cake. <laughs> I thought I saw a blowtorch on Jeb's expense report. Yeah, that that's a good sense. Sense. <laughs> Seems like we're our temperature's holding pretty steady at 130 degrees Celsius. So should I still go slow as I put it in? Yeah, and we're at a minute. Um, okay, so yeah, you can go whatever speed you're comfortable with. The important part is to not move it out into the cold water. That's the most important part. Roger. So the instructions kind of say like quickly, but I don't think it really needs to be quickly. I think it just needs to be carefully. Okay. Sounds good. You okay with this framing? Yep. After this task, we've got a, a special request from the party people in Science Land. Ah, uh, they want a victory wrist spin. That's a nice jump. We're at 296. Oh. Yeah, very nice. Really consistent with uh, the bars that were removed yesterday. I can't seem to find a, an any spot. Oh, there we go. Just kidding. You got it, Trevor. So mm. 296 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see if it goes up now that he's got it a little deeper. Oop. I'm going to let go. No, it's still 296. Is that okay? Science, what, do, what do you think? Hold for a bit. Oh, I, I mean, do you think you can bury it a little further? Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to fall. <clears throat> I started bouncing the vehicle a little bit, so I'm worried to push harder. But uh, let me know. 
you can watch and see what you think. Just give it, yeah, give it one more little gentle. I know we don't up want to bang to tip around, but. A little up. shimmy. Yeah, I see what you're talking up, about. Down, bottoming out. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, sure. Just yeah, let's just gently open the jaw. We can okay. lean it a little go. bit. Oh, oh there, there it is. Yeah. Wow. Self there, hands off approach. Come wide, please, Ed. Full wide. There was more Bam. to go. Hmm. Just not for me. Just not for Trevor. Temperature looks great. It's I'm okay, Trevor. Super steady. Let's see if it jumps after that. 296. Fall. Arm secure. No, still 296. That's, That's great. exactly what the uh, previous oh, three, was reading. Oh, no, 296. 296 degrees Celsius. All right, great job. Great job, guys. Um, we can go get that parking position on the ground. As yeah, we yeah, yeah. Sorry. So I think you're good, but uh, just keep an eye on it. You're talking the cables? Yeah, careful. There's a float on it, so it's probably just floating into you. Yeah. I think it's that 0 0.42 number, right? Yep. Yes, the float. And the, uh, it's the carabiner is wedged in the float. Yeah, I'm just, well, that's what I was worried about in case it's caught on it. I think it'll come free. Just careful here. I don't know if you want to help it with the... Help it over with the arm. Manip, because sure. I really don't want to pull the bars out. Yeah. That Kay. would be Can I see the camera right? Bad. There, there you go, it's good. gone. Free. Okay. Nice work. Oh, good job. Let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing to go pick up. Yep. Parking well, position. Well, technically two things, because it came apart. Mm. Oh. Hey, you gotta put it back together now. Yeah, that's with right. one minute. That's right. So we're you looking can grab for those zip ties when you're getting parking positions too. are straight down. If you come down, you're good. Yeah. These ones. So yeah. we already sampled this vent with the yeah, gas we'll ties. Yeah, we'll right? We did. Yeah, this morning. Okay. Let's head off. So we got to the this left. piece, and we got this piece, and Roger. we got these to pick up. And guess where they're gonna go? Sample salvo. <laughs> AG, that was so melodic. Thanks. It, it uh, made thanks. me think that uh, maybe this is a good okay, time yeah, good to, go. to get our singing voices on. I Whoa. will not partake in this. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> AG. I, I just wanted to uh, put a shout out. It is Bob Ballard's 81st birthday today. Holy mm. moly. Wow. Yeah. Happy birthday, Bob. Oh, what are we doing? Oh. What was that? Happy uh, birthday, Bob. Bring that in, yeah. And and that I think that's Sorry, your song there, bad. Bob. Okay. I, I don't think I can convince folks to sing. Well, I mean, you don't have to. You can sing. Well, yeah, I could sing. <laughs> Happy yeah, birthday, Bob. <laughs> can I have the camera tilt down, please? Yeah. That means it's also Mark DeRoche's birthday. Long time OET deck chief. Recently yep. retired. Mac? Mac. Nice. I was calling Mark Mac for five days. <laughs> Mac. Mm -hmm. Do you appreciate your humor? No, it, it wasn't it, like it wasn't humor. Oh. It's like he introduced himself to me and I legitimately heard Mac. Oh, like. Mm -hmm. And then somebody had to correct me. So you were sailing with Mac and Remy. Mac and Remy. Yeah, yeah you were way off. Mac, man. I was with Remy and. Renato. Yeah. <laughs> two, two different people. I was two different people. Mark was Mac. We uh, were having quite a bit of fun when we had New England Mock and Irish Merck Merc. on board. So yeah. we had Mock and Merck. Mark. Merc. And we would call thought, him that and he would say, my name's not Merck, it's Merck. <laughs> I thought it, I literally thought his name was Merrick. Like M-A-R-I-C-K. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was Merrick as well. Merrick. Merrick. Oh, uh, Southern Irish. Yeah, Cobb or somewhere down there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they can speak. I see, uh, they can I speak see funny. The beatbacks. <laughs> 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 There's no way this will bite me. He lied. Yeah, remember? Remember that time? Okay, remember that time. tie wraps, please.
just slurp those up to give Jake something to do. Jake? Uh, somebody. Try and get him out of there. Oh wait, we're using the Venturi, eh? Not an actual pump. Right now we got the actual suction. That's good. You should put it over there. Sure. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, I'll get that one later. Do you want a bit of zoom on that one? No, I'll get it later. Oh, don't float away on me now. You're trying to go for two, huh? Trying to go for three. Flew too close to the sun. Well, if you put it in the vent, it'll just disappear. That's the other <laughs> vehicle, yeah. How come I can't? Okay, well, this is silly. Vent potpourri. All right, hold up. I'm gonna stuff this over on the starboard side. That's okay yeah. with you. Go for it, man. Take this bubble cam. So for folks just tuning in, we are at the Endeavour Hydrothermal Vents. We've just deployed a BARS um, in one of the venting structures. And it was a delicate procedure, making sure that the instrument uh, bonk, 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 bonk. Can, can do what it's got to do without being... Um, uh, damaged by the venting structure. So we got five degree Celsius temperature rating in the surrounding water. And the BARS instrument was reading 296 degrees there. BARS stands for benthic and resistivity sensor. So it's measuring geothermal venting areas, temperature, resistivity, oxidization in the seawater, hydrogen, all sorts of good stuff. Data easily accessed at oceannetworks.ca on our Oceans 3.0 platform. You can see it live right now. All right. How are we doing front row? So good, <coughs> dude. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> are we all cleaned up here? Oh, man. What are we meant to do next? The uh, gas site sampling at Smoke and Mirrors? Or no. We're no longer doing that? Mm, Plans we pool? I will confirm. Okay. But we don't, do, we do have a traditional gas site with us. Stand by. Raj. What's sitting right there, Rennie? On the left. Way to go, Rennie. Smoke mm. and mirrors Smoke before and we mirrors. do a survey. Okay. Survey? What's survey? Well, we got to figure out where we're going to land all of our gear. Oh, right. 
Yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to the smoke and mirrors vent, which should be kind of right in front of you. It's very tall. It's probably that. Just wait two hours and hopefully we'll have these masks off. Yeah. Uh, uh, one something. I think everyone has to test negative before there's mask optional. Oh, okay, fine. Not just you test negative. Four I hours. could be wrong. I think I see the shadow of it in Atlanta, kind of right in front <coughs> a little bit. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I think we're okay for tether. We'll okay, see. see it. Maybe not. Maybe that's that lens flare we haven't got rid of yet. Yeah, there we go. Let me see it. Oh, that was it. It is right in front of you. Do we want to? Um, I'll wait till Josh gets in the seat. Do we want to? hold the gas type here before we start getting floaty and positioning. Oh, well, we want to temperature probe it. Oh, temperature probe. Okay. And we might we might need to ream it. Okay. Is this a this is an upturned into a flange pool like an upside down one? It looks like that's what they're that's what's on the plan at least. Yeah, I think you're right. And I might need scientist Steve Mahaley's input. No reaming, he says. Okay, yeah. So we got uh, a Dan found a flange pool that he could sample. They there are two on the west side near the top. West side near the top. We are on the north side, so he wants to be looking. So we're on the west side facing the vent. So just kind of shimmy around a little to your starboard and near the top. There's going to be um, thank you, Steve. Ledges that have vent fluid kind of sitting in them. Of, well, we may have to look up to find them, but um, as we ascend, we'll find. We're looking for reflection on the underside, like a mirror. Northwest side. Northwest. Okay, that's where we're at right now. So we'll just hold this there and ascend. Looks like Atalanta's in a good spot. I'm going to do a DVL reset. Okay, there we go. Near the top, he says. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's a tall one. It's straight. It's very odd. It's straight up and for like 20 meters or something. <laughs> Might have an overhang coming up. We can see in Atalanta. There's a shadow above you. So look out for that. Well, oh, there's a pool under there too. Is that one? Yeah. Yep. Maybe. Right there. Uh, nowhere to settle them. Saw the reflection. Yeah. Yeah, the underside. They it sits under these under this flat bits, and so there'll be like a mirror looking, and that's where we're gonna hold a gas tight up into it. Are we example. thinking it's maybe here? The yeah, we could look at these two. There's one under the or bottom here. one for sure. Um, on the right, there's two, and Ed said he saw reflectivity oh. on the bottom. Yeah, um, but it could also be on the top as well. Um, we also have plenty more up to go, so. Yeah, you see that reflection in there? Yeah, the, that's why they call it smoke oh, like and mirrors. Oh, right there. Yeah, you see the mirrors? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's just hold here for a sec. The top one's probably more promising given the two berms up there. That's yeah, incredible. Isn't it? Yeah, there's that reflection there. I'll bet Dr. Steve would prefer cool. the top one. Everything's upside down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so if you could just barrel roll 180. <laughs> yeah. I can do that with the bubble camera. You guys want to see? <laughs> 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 yeah, just touch it at all and it'll do it got some sort of RF interference whenever you're near that thing. This goes nuts. <laughs> Your vertical stance. 
We're already there, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, there's some more of it. Yeah. On the right. It's more shimmering than mirrors, right. maybe. So for people in science party land, we've got uh, these instruments are collecting data and it's been used in a number of publications. Um, so the data that comes into the Oceans 3.0 po portal has been used for publications in geochemistry, geophysics and geosystems, the Journal of Aquatic Conservation, Marine and Freshwater Ecosystems, in Oceanography Kay. Journal. This is not as tall as it it used yeah, to be. I don't. Uh, this this is, it's is like 14 it meters off the deck. It used to be much taller. So probably on the other side of this ledge in the ravine, there's probably a bunch of vent chimney. Yeah, well, at least I know what I'm looking at. Right. Can I just bump in past this housing. So can we get the temperature probe out and start uh, temperature probing? <coughs> sure can. So. Scientist Steve is pleased with these. It's just a question of whether you guys think you can sample it. <laughs> Only one way to find out, I uh, guess. Yeah. What's the worst that you get a an, an empty gas tank? Yeah, I mean, a gas tank filled with seawater. Yeah. So. It's either that or we go home. So. Yeah. Might as well. Do we have a thumb on the arm for the trigger? Nope. Oh, then this will be very hard. <laughs> uh, very difficult, yeah. We'll have to set it all up, and then he'll have to fly it in, and yeah. then we'll have to press it. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> so not, you that bumper bar's going to get in the way, because it's way oh, out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're going to have to hold him way out there. Way out in front, not up. And kind of, because then, because he's saying about the bumper bar, yeah, yeah we, we yeah. got to be like, it's got to be right in the porch. Yeah. <laughs> Get it, it right in that gap. We did gap. it yesterday, now we just got to do it upside down. Let's do make it harder. upside down this time. Yeah. 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 Great. Okay. Cool. What was it Maverick said about that thing when he went inverted? Yeah. Let's go inverted here. <laughs> <laughs> the negative 4G and all that stuff. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay. When I grab this temp probe, is it going to <sighs> destroy everything? Do we want to go sit down somewhere while we set up? Instead of dropping this through the water sure column. Sure do. Okay. Can you drop the temp probe? No. But you can um, let go of it and it could bungee somewhere where we can't get it again or not in a good spot. Okay. Up to you. You want to have a seat? I would love to. Okay. Do we um, probably to have to follow me down with Atalanta. Okay. Measure. Where the... Okay. Okay, man. Okay, temperature probe. Right, AJ? Yes, sir, you got it. Here I come. Boop. You want to rack me back? What are you? Are you yes, please. Uh, Dave, can you take the camera and retract, please? Yeah, one sec. Yeah, no rush.
door is open too a bit. <clears throat> I might be able to reach up anyway. Yeah, if we can, I don't know if we can close the drawer, but. Can close it some, I guess. A little bit. I'll do. Yeah. Roger. Are you ready, Dave? Yeah. I'm just going to have to keep it in hand. the end of this thing and what is it it's called? pretty long eh there you go nice so we gotta do it like this upside down yeah I think so we'll have to come down and reposition I get the all ready with the gas sights too and then go back up yeah so, so we'll just remember which event we went to which uh bungee looks pretty oh yeah she bungerific <laughs> we had it way out farther yesterday it's it'll, it'll be all right yeah yeah um, i want to I'm going to have to get this way out in front when you're ready, Dave, because, like you said, the brow. Yeah, I don't know just how much we got. Like, I'll keep it there. Atlanta's got a pretty good view, mm -hmm. um, which I got to do while you go up this thing. I got her. Got a ray coming up to your right. <laughs> Not to scare Escape. you. Skate. <laughs> Skate, yeah. It's him here, isn't it? Mm, let's see. It's one of those on the right there. Just on the right, on yeah. the out, out on the edge, yeah? Yeah, I think so. That's one of them. <laughs> All right, mate, you want to stretch out? Oh, see there is this case. Yep, see what Roger you get. That. Stretch it out. There's one right above you. One right here. Up. If we go all the way to the top, we can see like which one's really good. You want me to come back From in? these yeah. on the northwest, yeah. Okay. Ooh, big ray. Right. Big ray. All right. I think we're seeing a, a skate in skate. the background there. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Hanging there we around. go. There's one right above that yeah. too. What is that's going a, on that's here? That's a good looking Who's one. Who's doing that? Thank Shall you? we go for that? Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Let's go no, for no, that no. big one. Well. What? Way out on the ledge there, yeah, it'll probably be the Quar the Quarmany maybe, or uh, what's his name down below? Uh, right, Trevor. What's his name? Yeah. <laughs> okay, mate, stretch her out. Okay. And this is still the smoke and mirrors vent? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I gotta figure out how to get... We got the readout on this somewhere? I gotta get the readout. Um, let me Let's go, Chief Sai. I can get it up here too. Side da data. I'm frozen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Nice. We Temperature pro. Yeah. Have it on um, high pack Maybe survey if you want. Come down a wee bit with okay. it. Okay. 
Oh, I trust you more than Counting what I've me? got. Yeah, I'm down every yeah. second yeah. in the last five minutes. Right there. There we go. Okay. Awesome. Thank I you. I think that'll give me a bit of room. I, I can go up <sighs> further, but the, you can see the bungee is tight and pulling the temperature probe and turning it in my wrist a little. Yeah. So I'm not sure how much more I got there. Well, I kind of want it down a bit. It gives me a bit of room with the sonar just above that as well, like. Sure. Just on the edge of the camera view. This is going to be real close in, man. Yeah. Well, we're seeing temperature, but only 2.6 degrees. <coughs> I can probably blow this out so you can okay, see up there. Bubble. Sorry. Yeah, go for it. Thanks, Ed. Sorry, video people. Got to see what we're doing. Can you rotate that wrist a touch back towards us? I'll try my best. Look at Dave flying it right in there. Just there. What do we got for temperature? No, not, not a lot. Huh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Yep. Still no, no temperature, right. really. Huh. Do we want to reset? I, I, I gotta be yeah, honest, reset. guys. I'm not sure if this is safe for the vehicle or enough. I just really don't know how we've, we're gonna be able to gas tighten. We've done it, this be before honest. and uh, gas tighten. We've not, no. not right. done this before okay. and uh, got in trouble for it. So let me talk to somebody who has more authority about the vehicle for a sec, okay? Yeah. Let me just make the case that if we want to come into this one from this side, then there's not much overhead. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Like yeah. if, we, if we pick this one, yeah, and we approach from this there's direction, there's nothing above it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rennie? Yeah. Can you please ask Trevor to come up to there? Roger. He's on channel one. Channel one. Trevor, control. He lied. He's not. Van, please. Sounds like a stormtrooper. <laughs> yeah. Also can't hit anything. Cool. That's probably going to be the best angle there, because otherwise it's just going to blow me in. Yeah, yeah. There's not a lot of way, <coughs> not a lot of way to perch on it. But I don't know if there's much of the fluid right out to that outside. You know what I mean? Yeah. I would think it's. I can hotter. see it here. The closer into the chimney, yeah. you know, because it <coughs> cools off by the time it's way out here. Like the, we can see it there. I'm just so worried about that. The yeah. bow getting into the. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If. Because I had it on bubble cam there, and it was. It was up there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's close. Yeah. I'm gonna confer on that. So AJ, I noticed you like that, uh, hold on, let me call it my telestrator. That circular freeze in zoom. Do you ever use a point zoom circle? I haven't yet, really. Oh, that's a good one, too. So it shows you where it came from. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So hold on, let me see if I can grab, like, this guy here. Oh, very cool. So it's really good for things that are moving. <coughs> yeah, which is everything all the time underwater. Yeah. Okay, Dave, we got the clear. We can we can try again. Yeah, as long as it's the top uh, one of the two. Yeah, you see that reflection in there. Roger. Coming out. Well, like I said, that bungee's gonna start pulling it. I'm worried. It was turning the ball when I go out like this, but I. I yeah, I'm go above the bar. Is that what you? Is that what you mean, Dave? Yeah. I'm frozen. 
<laughs> False hope. Keep putting stuff in front of the, bu in the, yeah. front of the bubble. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Let's put a sonar right underneath it. Yeah. Can we blow this out again as we get closer? Yes, please. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, yes, please. Some exposing for the underside there. Yeah. Yeah, you have the temp probe much lower. Should we put the temp probe lower so the brow's not going to go in? Yep. Okay, coming down. You want to zoom on Atalanta, Ed? Yeah, I'm not sure you're going to get. Right from here, but we'll try it. See what we can see. Uh, Too low, Dave? Okay. Yeah, it looks all right. I just, I'm not going to be able to keep it. You see how it keeps turning? Yeah. Mm. No. There's tension. The tension is too much, it spins the ball. Okay. It's oh, okay. Yeah. For the, I think it's okay for the probe to be out like that. So See if you can. Prone. All right. You think that sort of angle is going to get up under there? We'll find out, I guess. <laughs> 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 uh, we will. Yeah. I'm I, happy I to bring it in a little closer. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. You got the readout back there? Yep. Yeah, we got it right up here. All right. Yeah, that's good. Still no change. <coughs> I, I have a feeling it's it's got to be real. Like there's a point source in there, and it's just building this flange. But where that is is kind of yeah. quickly dif diffuse into. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to get an answer out of Steve for like yeah. what what temperatures they typically see here. But you're right. right. Like it's it's a very diffuse right source. Pretty hard to hold a steady, guys. Yeah, yeah. But you imagine that's trying good. To I mean, if we can gas tight there, I think that's good. Careful, careful. Uh, yeah, we we get, we hit a temp up in there. That's ten. Yeah, there we degrees, go. Eleven something. degrees. So pretty blazing hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great. So we can um, go down and get our gas tight situated. We're going to try can. that. Okay. We're going to try it. You're going to do the same thing you just did. Just bringing this in for... For safety bungee safety. safety reasons. Okay, I'll hold this here, Dave, until you're... Yeah, no worries. So we did just the... Follow me down again. We could zoom out on Atalanta if you want. We did the topmost so flange pool, correct? Yeah, the topmost flange, I think we'll be able to get back there. Still got partial on that landing when we come out. Yes, please. Yeah. Coming out. Thanks. There you go. <laughs> it's crazy. I think this thing was twice as tall. because I almost hit it. I've known, I knew an ROV that took a, oh, half of one of these before. Yeah. Uh, did oh, you mark the temperature? Uh, I just took a huge hit at video. Huge. Uh, the peak looks like it's about 10.7 degrees Celsius. Uh, what do you want to do here, Ed? Come down. 52. There you go, Dave. 1711. Was it That's just cool. bubble, Ed, or is it some other stuff? Uh, I didn't see bubble move, but... Bubble flicker. I've flickered seen bubble, a lot. bubble okay, flickered a yeah, lot. Yeah, I lost my camera, too. Oh, okay.
Let's see what we got, mate. In the background there, there's a, a lot of those white spots. Are those organisms? Do we know? Not sure. John? Rennie? Rennie? <laughs> uh, my guess is... Sponge? Yeah, I don't know. Not too sure. Maybe some gastropods? I know we, we see a I'm, well, quite a number. They, 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 they might be too gastropods. Small. Yeah, they're too small to be sponges. They might be gastropods, yeah. They kind of look snailish. But um, uh, around here there are like boot sponges that are white and kind of bulbous like that. Yeah. If I were to make a, a bet, Do I would Do you want some iris in there? I'd say some kind of gastropod. Snaily dudes. Do you want some iris to see, or are you okay? Add uh, some Mr. iris Ray. on uh, Zerxus. Thank, Thank you. you. You got more sun down there than up here. I can see. I can see. Yes. Terrible at it. Can't you tell? And yes, we've been taking um, some temperature samples. We're at the Can Smoke and Mirrors vent in the Endeavour Hydrothermal Vent field, the main field here. Uh, if you're just tuning in, you missed us um, adding a BARS <laughs> instrument do do, really? into a venting question. structure. And we were getting a readout of 296 degrees Celsius at the vent with the surrounding water around 5 degrees Celsius. And we are going to take uh, some gas samples of vent fluid and in our next steps here. You can watch the readout of the data live at oceannetworks.ca and our Oceans 3.0 data portal. And this data is freely available and nice. has resulted in a number of publications, okay. ranging from Ed, the Journal of Geochemistry, please? Geophysics, no, and Geosystems. No, stuck there for the rest of the dive. <laughs> Oceanography, Aquatic Conservation, Marine and Freshwater hmm. Ecosystems. Gas tight next? No, yes. Yep. Gas, gas tight. Yeah, gas tight next. Which one's which? Purple. Purple? Oh, I didn't even see there were two. One of them uh, has an upturned geez, handle. I really wish that they labeled these. I, I can't really hear you, Dave, but okay. Standing by. Okay. Trevor, why do you say. Sorry? Okay. Okay. So we'll go starboard then. It should have an upturned nozzle. Was there any gas tights taken yet on this dive? Not traditional. Just the other yeah. ones. Okay. Just making sure that we didn't. We're not picking up an already triggered one. 
Because it is unzip tied and I wasn't sure. I don't see any trigger locks on them either. Okay, man. Good, Dave. Yeah. I'll take a little um, center up that green gas tight in the camera, please, on the right. Bubble time. Um, before we go into this, can we just check the gauges, please? We haven't yeah. had a look in a while. Yeah, yeah Roger. <clears throat> Somebody's thinking in here. <laughs> Okay, I am moved. Can't tell. We need to cut that bar off the bubble, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do I take this off? Can I tilt uh, down, please, Dave? Yeah, oh. do you want a little bit of draw out? I think we'll have to, right? Probably should have grabbed it after that, but I'm not letting go now. Uh, Sean, do you uh, have the color, the numbers for these color gas tanks? I seem to have missed this. One more, Dave. It's, we got the nozzle case. in there and everything. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Maybe I'm starting to push well, stuff on the none of, them, right now. none of them match what's here. Well, there's just no green, white, blue listed. Yeah. Hmm. Well, cool. Great button. But now I can grab that again. Reconfigure. Oh, maybe, they, maybe this is... Yeah, green, black. Okay, this is number 24. Even though it says green, black on barrel, and what it meant was green, black on handle. Yeah. You should put more colors. Can you tilt up so I can see a bit of the arm, please, Dave? <laughs> what do you want to see? I just want to see more of the arm. Just, just want to see some of the joints. Mm, okay, that's why. You can see that this gas tight has not yet been triggered by the position of the O-ring. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work because it's too close. <sighs> Could maybe. No, it won't help you. It's alright. Ignore that. That button just not work. Like, oh, so much easier. So AJ, while this is happening, um, yeah, for 
I'm presuming you, it looks like we want most of the tool basket stuff near the other instrument platform, yep. right? Mm -hmm. And I'm noticing that later in the plan, it has us coming back down here to grab the bars. Can we just bring the bars, the old bars here up with us to the other JB? Um, yep, we can. I think we, we rearranged the order. Okay. That way we don't leave, we can leave this south site and not come back to it. Would probably yep. be ideal. I think that makes the most sense. Really, you're not going to slide in the slot there. You're just going to be like that. Oh yeah, the tape kind of makes it hard to oh, fit in the jaw. The T handle only fits with no there. tape. That's great. That's even better. Perfect. Okay, now I gotta look in the drawer. It's getting frustrating. That grip's not gonna work. So am I gonna do balances back on the drawer? Can you box so it all the way, please? Or maybe I'll poke this back in I'm first. I'm starting to, yeah, I'm starting to push the milk crate if I move mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? Stand by. Give me a sec. Yeah. I want a mirror. I want to get one of those out. Those are cast <laughs> tights. Yeah. You want me to see if I can get a bit more on the box? Oh, can you tilt down? I want to look at this other gas tent. I want it to follow too, I guess. It's not good. I don't know what it's doing. All right. All right, come back up, please, Dave. So just taking a look at what you're manipulating right now there, um, front row, we got gas tights, and AJ's gonna give us a quick explanation of what these are. Yeah, so a gas tight is a, is a water sampling device that has a, an empty Tilt chamber down, that's been Dave. placed in vacuum, so there's currently no down, fluid please, in it Dave. at all. When we press the plunger, it'll open a, an orifice that allows the seawater and gas from the hydrothermal vent to enter into the chamber, and then it seals it back up at pressure. Oh, so when we bring it uh, to the surface, it will remain at pressure, which will allow the scientists to study the particles without them um, changing state like they would if if they were allowed to change in pressure. Right on. And then back in the lab, there's got to be some way, Great. interesting way of oh, oh, no. taking oh, the sample great. out. How come the guards yeah. aren't on yeah. these? Uh, I'm sure there is. That, get, that all gets done at the University of Washington by Dr. Mark Lilly. Um, so I actually that? don't know what that looks like. But all I'm right. trying to get this back in the box. Yeah. There's a bubble. I can try and give you a bit more box if you want. Well, I don't know. It's you just might uh, push that milk crate off. Yeah, yeah I know. Where's that function? There it is. Got in bubble if you want it. Yeah, I see it. I'm using. I could probably come down to you a bit more. In the bubble? Yeah. I got her. Kind of. <clears throat> hmm? 
Yeah. Okay, can we box in, please? Coming in. Nice work. I like it. All right. Uh, can we get bubble on the uh, gas tight on the porch, please? Perhaps folks out there have sorted out, but I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but bubble is just referring to a camera view, right? To make sure you can see. Yeah, that's yep. the brow camera. Awesome. Um, so up on can above the porch, there is a camera that we can kind of rotate around like an eye and uh, look at different stuff. So it can help us uh, drive over terrain by looking downwards or give a stereo view of the arm just like our human eyes so rather than just have one camera we can get some depth perception from two but unfortunately sometimes it, the way it has to be it'll be a different uh, the perspective will be from a different angle from a different view so sometimes it's backwards all right so you're looking at one this normal forward camera then you're looking at another one that's coming in backwards and right now, this is on satellite feed three, I believe, right? I think Ed will be able to answer that. Yeah, bra camera is on satellite feed three. That is correct. Right on. Thank you, Rennie and Ed. Sure. Stay. So you can see here, we've got a forward view from the ROV, and then the brow cam is kind of 90 degrees out from that. So you can imagine if you're if one of your eyes was 90 degrees out of your head, looking at something, you might struggle with it too. Wow. Like a bottom fish. <laughs> Sub G. And for folks in Science Party Land, we're in the main Endeavor right. hydrothermal vent field. We are currently doing some sampling of the gases in the area with an instrument called a gas tight. We've got a whole team here. Is the porch all the way out? I'll take that suggestion and run with it. Can we try a little porch extend, Dave, please? Rennie for the win. Well, we'll see if it's all the way out or not. <laughs> a little too, too quick Yeah, on I that. saw you're all like armpitted up. Love that. That's a little more. That's, that'll do. Thank you, Dave. For Thank you, Rennie. I forgot about that new feature on the rebuilt Hercules that used to be attached to the drawer, so the entire thing would come out, but now we have kind of dual for dual uh, slidey bits. Man, I'm still so much. You're watching at home the reason why we're being so particular is that it has to be grabbed in a very particular way <coughs> um, because in order to trigger that gas tight you have to God, press the plunger work. and in order to press the plunger we're going to have to use the port arm so this will be a kind of a complicated dance of having the uh, starboard arm which is the one you see moving in front of you um, holding that in a position where the port arm can press the plunger in. All of that will be out in front of us where um, the ROV pilot will be hovering in front of that vent we were working on. And just to make things more fun, the vent fluid we're sampling is upside down.
Uh-huh. I just cannot get this to face out the way I want. Yeah, unfortunately the bead bag is not a great flat surface. Yeah. Um, video? Can you a little zoom, please? You got it, coming in. I think a lot of it is these the angles of them and the, ce the center of gravity. Holding and there? Good. The yep. weight Thank of it you. kind mm -hmm. of flops mm -hmm. it around exactly how you don't want it. So I don't think that's going to smear in. Oh, it's not in there. something I can do with this better. Is it it's mm, is it a problem if it's a little cockeyed like that? Because it, well, it's it it slides around in there, it will not hold steady. You okay. have to get in the T handle. I see. For the button pressing. It just wants to slide back. Come on, stop that. There you go. That's much better. No, that's wrong. Mm, that's yeah, not. There's not far back enough. Yeah, that's right. But it's close. The T is in, but the the top of it isn't. Just about there. That's it. Is that it? I think so. Yeah, it looks like it's in. So that no, rubber, it's in as much as it, yeah. That mm -hmm. rubber coating mm -hmm. um, that you got on there, I think the T handle is much yeah. better if you, yeah, yeah, if you just have tape on it rather. Yeah. Than Somebody that. put a note: no more rubber, rubber tape, <laughs> rubber coating. All right. So now I gotta get this uh, out in front. Let's zoom out again a little bit, please. Coming out. Pull full wide. Thank you. De nada. Um, why don't we set the other arm up first? All right. And that, because that's going to give us as far forward as we can get, really, isn't it? I and then, agree. if we come into that. We are getting some interesting comments in the hmm. in the chat here from viewers with some directional instructions. Yeah, I imagine on, on how to use a lot of that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's Trevor downstairs typing yeah. into yeah, the it's website. Trevor. It's probably <laughs> Trevor. That's right. He's like, it's a lot smarter if I do this anonymously. <laughs> yeah. And I don't get any of the blame. Yeah, I don't get any of the blowback. <laughs> <laughs> you want to drive this thing? <laughs> All right, so the tough part is also that nozzle have to be facing upward. Correct. And in a way that 
we can also tr press it from under with mango. So that's kind of. It would be. Yeah. yeah, somebody needs to tell them. Nobody likes backseat drivers. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, read out all the comments. I really want to hear them. Yeah. Well, but honestly, one of the questions was how hard is it to control the arm? And I'm guessing it's pretty hard. Yeah. No, anybody can do it. It's just oh. limited in uh, function. So you'll get tied up in a spot where you need to move an, a joint, but it's locked. It's gone as far as it can. It can. So then you have to reset the whole business. Renee's like my filter. Yeah. I'm just speak. I'm just. I know what. I know what Josh is thinking. So <laughs> I gotta <laughs> politicize. You know, get diplomatic with the answer. <laughs> really, really well done. <laughs> if like Josh had like two conscious consciences, like one on each shoulder, Rennie would be the yeah I'm one the of angel. Them. And Ed, Ed, is, Ed is obviously the other one. <laughs> yeah, Ed's over there. <laughs> <laughs> typing out. <laughs> <laughs> typing responses. Yeah. I'm the one typing this He's stuff the one to typing the it in. He's the one typing it in. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough job over here. I have to be video and Waldorf and Statler <laughs> and banter. Yeah. Yeah. Peanut gallery. No. Yeah, those are the two old guys on the Muppets. The Muppets. Gotta love the Muppets. And you think you're both of them? <laughs> well, you can't be one of those guys. <laughs> they come as a unit. Yeah. <clears throat> I've seen air leak out of a bike tire faster than this arm moves. <laughs> If you fast forward through this portion, the arm is much faster. Yeah, this is the slow mo replay. This happened earlier. Oh, yeah, we're just doing the slow motion <laughs> reenactment of like, the future. When you watch on our CG that, program, yeah, you can use a times two whichever function this yeah. one there playback, and then I'll go out on it for the plunge. Yeah. Come a bit. Yeah, that might be okay, all so right. Is, it, is that going to be far enough out, or is that? If we can get further out, further out we can get the better. I'm all. That's on my elbow. What about my wrist? Okay. Okay. I don't want to hit it. So stand by. I'm gonna move this first and get it further out. Um, let me get you dialed in with the bubble. Bubble. Mm. Yeah. It's right behind the bar, so you must be in the perfect position again. Yeah, that's our uh, uh, position indicator. Oh. I think Atalanta is getting a view of a rat tail fish there, maybe, as it's moving with the ship oh. here. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. We saw a skate earlier. We've got all sorts of critters in the background here. Oh yeah, I see that rod tail now. When we do a big bounce up top right. Okay. Now I'll bring this guy close. Uh, Ed, can I get a little zoom, please? Zoomage. Get a little uh, centered on that, please. Mm -hmm. Look at that compound move. <laughs> Just glad the zoom isn't hydraulic. That's that's good. <laughs> You're hydraulic. <laughs> That's good, good one. Eh? I think the word you're looking for is caustic. Yeah. Looking good on bubble. Is that what you think, Rennie? Mm. I think if you jo rotate the jaw on the on the mango, you might have a flatter right. surface. Well, maybe you can just trigger it with a jaw <laughs> rotate. Not now. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. oh, Why did that happen? Uh, uh, <laughs> primed. I think we. Yeah, you're probably good enough to go, right? Go with that. Yeah. Because you got so much capability with the right arm, Stand you'll be able by. to do yeah, it. Yeah, just pull it back in there. 
Well, but that we don't want to move that because he's, uh, he's flying it in flying the position. It in. Stand by. It's all right. I'll get uh, just a little bit more in there so I know that when I wrist out, it's definitely going to trigger. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right oh, there. you want to trigger it with the mango? Yeah, yeah because okay. we don't Restart want to move the mango, and that will trigger it. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that that's the ticket good. right there. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I see. So you're not moving the nozzle. Right. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Got to fly the nozzle, right? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Tracks. Well, it's all you now, Dave. Come wide, please, video. Coming out. <laughs> <laughs> now, do we want the down light off? Uh, yeah, try it. Is that going to be better or worse, Ed? What about, Dave? What about uh, porch? You got porch light? Yeah, I'm going to bring the porch in. No, okay. porch light, sorry. But yeah, also that. <laughs> I think it's called pan and tilt light now or something. Uh, oh. No, the pan and tilt light is the some science instrument. Oh. The down lights are porch light. No, the one, what's off. the one mounted on the uh, Zeus? Got it. Uh, I don't think it's there anymore. The light is That's there, but it's not connected. It's uh, driving a CTD or a McLean pump right. or something. McLean pump. McLean pump. All right, coming up. Light's there, but not connected. <sighs> All right, we're going to have a look down, just check this porch as it comes in, actually. I'm not really happy with the... Uh, Predator anymore. It looks like it got more separation yeah. there. Looks like it's just getting worse and worse. Slowly. You think the predator's moving there or is the go. craft moving? It's not a craft. That's or sorry. A Mongo. Do you think the magnum is moving? Yeah, that's a lot better, huh? That's as close as I can get without triggering it. Yeah, yeah. let's see what happens, shall we? Yeah. It's all kind of higgledy piggledy and not in the best of positions, but that's yeah. my okay. favorite word of the day. Higgledy piggledy. <laughs> piggledy piggledy went to market. Higgledy piggledy came home. Right? You know that little nursery rhyme? Yeah, that's that supposed to be done with toes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dave, you want to. Robot toes. <laughs> do, do that to my toes later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. It did not take long to get there. Yeah. What are we? A few days early. Early. Shoes are staying it's already on. It's already been a week. Are staying yeah. on. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, no. <laughs> There's a favor just to take my mind off it, mate. Pick up on Atlanta, will you? Roger. Yeah, yeah do something about <laughs> <right? laughs> Do something else. <laughs> do something else. <laughs> Jeebus. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope my daughter wasn't listening in. Oh, man, Josh man. and Dave are getting really close. <laughs> That's camaraderie at its finest. She hates yeah. feet. <laughs> she hates feet? Yeah, don't like feet. Who hates feet? My oh daughter. Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> don't know <laughs> why. I'm over here trying to find the Top Gun theme. I don't even know what it's called. You think Top, top Gun, gun theme. theme? I don't, no. I don't know. Either. I don't know what that's got to do with toes. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> you roll after we plant this memory in you. Top Gun Anthem, maybe? The Harold Faltmeyer, whatever it is. Yeah. You looking it up as well? You beat me to the punch. No, I just. Or is that your ringtone? That's right off the top of my head. Yeah, that. Predator is creeping I'll, I'll slightly. I'll bring it in one more time before, while we, when we get there and I'm done yeah. with Atlanta mm -hmm. right before. Ed, we got a new name for the low light video. It's, uh, Darth Vader mode. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> nice. We got some tunes in the van right now. <laughs> Why are we listening to this? I lost the plot. <laughs> Because this is a total maverick thing we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah. Okay, I see. Well, it is called flying an ROV, so there you go, Top Gun. We got to do a barrel roll. Maybe we're to bottom guns? guns? Yeah. They do call themselves pilots. <laughs> barrel roll just to no, no, no. Up. Some of us do. This is... All right. Is that the top one? No, we're going no. to the next one. Let's keep going. I'm going even higher. 
What is our job? <laughs> you ever Does ask he yourself cut that, that in the call? This is serious right. science, just that'll, for the record. That'll get us copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> Infringement. And we're in trouble. Yeah. So it's that one to the right. It's yeah. like the predator just doesn't want this thing to be triggered. Right, no. you ready? It's wimping out. Yeah. Okay. Atlanta is home. <laughs> Atlanta. Yeah, we're good with Atlanta. Um, you could try. She's fine. Yeah, That's good. Yeah, coming yeah. in on the pred. Yeah. Good view there and bubble. Yeah. Going for it. Roger. Frozen. So Josh, I'm gonna let you trigger this whenever you think you're as as deep as you can get. You want me to call this? All yeah. right. Yeah. Well, you have a better sense of what the of the brow. Sure. Yeah, Slam they, it in there, Dave. Yeah, the angles ain't the best, but Let's see what we get. And we're going. Yep, go. Okay, get out of there, Dave. Peg there. it. Coming out. I think you got it, the trigger. I yeah. agree. Yeah, trigger, we got like, it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah can do. still pressed. Do. I guess it doesn't matter because once it's there, it came spilled. out. Yeah, yeah definitely it's triggered. Nice work. Wow, way to go, guys. That was yeah. excellent. Oh, Good find, Dave. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. Didn't, didn't uh, come crashing down on, on your brow. 2181. Um, what would you like this name there? Smoke and Mirrors Gas Tight. H1970. Yeah. Uh, 1970. <laughs> <laughs> no, just GT the one. Hyphen we have more to take later in the dive. That's just the one for now. Mm. Yeah. Oh, what happened to my oh, tape? Oh, crap. Okay. All right. So, I think we're there. Mr. Rennie. Mr. Me. Can you please call Trevor? Yeah. Thank you. Her arm's not coming up. Um, maybe when we are Trevor. not thrusting. Control. Uh, maybe. Van, please. So we are 14 hours into a 24 hour dive. We're at the main Endeavour hydrothermal vent field. Never mind, I got it ready. You got it? You good? 24 yeah. hours was the low. Trevor, low. control. Okay, at least 24 hours. <laughs> at least 24 hours. We've already hours. blown that estimate. Uh, we're okay. Uh, disregard. So yeah, we can get this situated into the toolbox and then we can uh, begin our surveys. Our surveys uh, oh, come down on the Atalanta, Atalanta. please. My Atalanta, right. Once yeah. it's in yeah. the box. My bad. Coming okay, down. Yeah, yeah nice stop. and quick. Here it comes. Blue uh, and white. Yeah. yeah, it's um, it's actually green, blue, white, but the handle is just green, okay. black. Okay, can slow down. So it's gas just in case they 24. Okay, I'm set. There we go. Roger. Can we do this? Just so we know. Yeah. Green, black on arrow. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. Accelerate handle because that's not. Handle. Okay, secure. Roger. Yeah. So if you're just joining us, welcome to the science party line. We are in the Endeavour Hydrothermal Vents Marine Protected Area. Canada's very first marine protected area in 2003.
Dave, can you give me a little This little area is also within mm -hmm. an area of interest to become potentially another marine protected area. And then we get the bottom lights back on, huh? Roger. We are doing instrument swaps and some sampling for Ocean Networks Canada. We've got a long dive with many objectives, all contributing to um, open data okay, I'll take the craft, please, about this area. And I guess the toolbox open. So that's this one. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm going to porch out first, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not that it matters. Oh, right. No, but that makes sense because then you won't push all. Yeah, the then I won't push all the shit off. Yeah. It's like those uh, those games in the uh, arcade where it pushes the quarters off. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah except this would actually push something off, unlike those I games. I know it's not magneted. It's probably sloped. It is a little. It's just like those games where you have to. Yeah. Rent, rent a ship and an ROV and an entire <laughs> crew. And, yeah. You still don't get anything at the end of it. <laughs> Just walk away disappointed. I don't know, Dirk won a winch. <laughs> oh yeah, right. That was, that was a carnival. Yeah. <laughs> Dirk won a winch. <laughs> Where do we get all these bubbles on the Zeus from? Hmm. Oh, I see why this one wasn't able to lock on. That's because it's that nozzle's facing the same way as the handle. I'll come down a bit more once you come over. There you go. I think I'm still racked out, so be careful. Roger. Can we rack in, please, uh, Dave? Yes, sir. Or no, nope, nope. Car, I'm in the no, camera. The camera, camera oh. back. Retract the camera, yeah. Before Josh carves his initials on the lens. Bullseye. <laughs> bullseye. <laughs> it's a shame we know that we're not doing the bullseyes right. right now. I know, eh? Quick draw. I don't even have my my pointy stick, so I can't be quick draw. Oh, anymore. we have it. Oh, what are you doing with it over there? I don't have it. I found it back there the other day. Well, is that good enough? It's mine, and I'm going to get it. You want the stick of pointing? All right. It's, it's back. Can you close that drawer, please, Dave? I think it'll... I think it will just... Yeah. It's going to be all right. Well, it's going to be just fine, Mitt. That will do. Right there. Wonderful. Um, give me one sec. Oh, Rennie's so in. happy. Look out. Here he comes with the stick of pointing. Quick draw. No. Oh, I gotta wait for him to get back on the headset. I no. dropped her off to the arm. Rennie, a, good, a cool. good place to store that is in that corner behind you to the right. Yeah, I have a little Velcro thing over here. Oh. This is a little pre-telestrator technology. I think he needs, uh, over need, here. He needs it in a holster. <laughs> this is my Oh, job. yeah, we're going back in time. Yeah. Okay. okay, what's next, AJ? Surveys. Oh, we got Megan. Yes, oh, uh, but AJ's we gone to get his brain tickled. Hmm, I don't know oh. what that means. Uh, COVID, COVID test. test. Oh, right. What's Can we try and tilt the Zeus up, 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 up and see if these bubbles will come off the lens before we do the survey, please? There's one center screen just... Oh, I see the two... Yeah, three. that's the one I'm mainly concerned with. This is center. Does it sometimes release when you do this? No. I oh, just okay. wanted to say I tried something. Oh, that's good. <laughs> you want me to get it off with yeah. the craft? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's like four of them there, but that yeah, one yeah. did. Actually, there's more than that. I think we picked these up when we went in for that. I don't know where we got them from. Yeah, they've been slowly accumulating. Okay, Megan. All right. Yeah, so next up, we're going to, from here, head sort of back towards the IP. 
Roger. until we see the green uh, backbone cable, and then we will follow that north. Okay. Up towards the uh, northern IP. Northern IP. Yeah. Um, Right before we do that, it was briefly discussed whether or not we'd take the bars, up, the old bars up with us, so we don't have to come back to get it. Um, comms for a second. But I don't know if you would like to do that or not. Um, no, we're a bit anxious to get this survey underway. Roger. So let's go ahead and do that. Because we don't know exactly where we would ditch the, um, the old bars with all that cable until we know where the tool basket is going to be. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, I'm going to, let me look at our orientation here, so I'll bring the ship. Yeah, it's almost directly north, so I'm just uh, 80, 80 meters north, so I'm just going to go 40 meters north and we'll make a decision. There. Which way am I flying? North? Uh, north, yeah, we'll set up. We'll go north. Where are we going here? Uh, no, we shouldn't have anything... Um, there's just one rock in the way. We can come up to That's about it. 35 separation anyway, mate. Bridge now. Step four zero meters, bearing north. Uh, 0 0.5 is fine. Thank you. It's a good shot of the bars that we just installed. Still hanging in there. Beautiful. Planned it. Yeah, from a distance, it's hard to tell where the effluent is, but it's still there. Yeah, you can still see the black smoke coming out. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we shouldn't call it smoke. But. Man, this is so laggy, it's not, it's almost inoperable. Once we get over there, I'm just going to do a 180 to take this half three quarter turn back out. Raj. Is that the uh, green backbone cable there? Looks like it. Okay. Oh. It's going pretty much north-ish. Yeah, that's the one. We'll follow that um, until just south of the uh, IP. There'll be some uh, bead bags there, or a cluster of bead bags. It's looks like it's dropping off a cliff. There is a cliff, yeah. Yeah, there is a cliff there. <laughs> a known cliff. We're in the right spot. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, what's that? Should, should come back up here. Yeah, it's just there. What's it doing down there? Oh, there it is in the background. It comes back up. Yeah. I see. Uh, Atalanta, you can face north, or unless you want to get unless you want to get dragged around, it's a uh, up to you guys if you want to pull it taut or. You probably just need to come down a little bit, but yeah, yeah. Coming down Atlanta and facing north. Yeah, we got uh, the ship moves in, but it'll take a bit to feel it. And we want to turn Atlanta. Yeah, Dave's pulling me, so. Yeah, I'll just wait for it to move. here for a few minutes. Yeah, sounds good. 
A lot of smoke in the water here. Yeah, it looks like it's coming from Grotto area. Or just everywhere, really. I think I'm just going to add another 20 right away. Yeah, no worries. Bridge snap. We can add an add an additional two zero meters, twenty meters north. Thank you. Hmm. Anybody know how much Herc weighs in air? I thought it was 5,000, but Humans? I don't know if that's real. Pounds, 2,500, 24, whatever that is. I don't know where I read that. So the cable's just going over the edge back there. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? I think it should come back up because we saw it next to these two peed bags when we first landed. Okay. Um, north but we'll just kind of we'll track up for now and see what we find yeah see if it comes back up atalanta's on the move so it should be following you cool uh, unless you wanted to kind of see where it lays down there megan we will just wait till it comes back up uh, i don't think there's no, anybody I don't think back there to. I don't think we have to chase oh, it. Okay. There we it's go. Fairly Somebody did that a long time ago, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> sure it's documented somewhere. To the point where the cliff is even marked on our side. I can see it there. on the bottom there anyway. Yeah. Just off to the right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all. Y'all? Hey, y'all. <laughs> Uh, North Carolina. It's Marley in the house. from North Carolina. Hey y'all, Marley. <laughs> How uh, are you? We just had a comms switch over, taking over for Lauren. Welcome to the best watch. Here we are. Did you catch any of that um, smoke and mirrors sampling we were doing, or I don't know what you were up to down there? No, I've been running all over the ship all running morning. Around. What Literally a. Just yeah, yeah I can't remember where my stateroom is. <laughs> so we are in transit right now, is that correct? Ish. Kind so of. We're, we're on our way up to the northern part of Main Endeavor Field. And we're going to do a little visual survey to get our bearings and to scout out some good locations for a tool basket deployment. Great. And uh, for swapping out some of the instruments. And there's the cable coming up off the side there. Roger, yeah. Good eye. Every time we visit there, it looks a little bit different. So we want to make sure we know where everything is and see what's changed. It's a dynamic environment. Indeed. While we're doing this, I'm going to give a uh, shout out to uh, Kate Moran, who's our president and CEO of Ocean Networks Canada, who was just um, appointed as an officer of the Order of Canada, just announced today. All right. Fantastic. Wow. Well deserved. Wow, that's huge. That's awesome. Congratulations, Kate. Congrats. 
briefly stop by the ship, I believe, before yeah. we set sail. With her executive assistant, Debbie. <laughs> Desi? Uh, Debbie? Isn't it Debbie? Are you, are you referring to her poodle? Yes. It's Desi. Desi. Desi, thank you. Got that wrong. I was like, who's Debbie? I, I'm, I'm still... New assistant. Trying to uh, get past the loss of Lucy. Yes, of course. We fixture. A like fixture. We just passed this clip. Following the cable. Right on. Cruising. Tour de Mef. Tour de Mef. Yes. <laughs> you can see the cable nicely in this mm -hmm. still camera. Uh, that still camera is pretty clutch. <laughs> clutch. Well, that's interesting. Uh -huh. Mint. Should be approaching B back shortly if our targets are right where we put them earlier. I love the little symbol right, you I'm have for this hydrothermal vent on the turn out now. Oh yeah, that was it looks was like a Lynette. flashlight. That was Lynette did those. Yeah, it does. It's it's supposed, like a, like supposed to be bulb. smoke, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doing some tether management here. Everybody. Is the arm still on? No. No. You have trouble? Uh, it's probably just because I'm trying to change my heading. Oh, yeah, just tugging around. Pre um, pressure's just really low. Could just hit Mongo to a bike pump and have it, you know, just repressuring the. Spend time out with your drink. What's this? Uh, somewhere around here there should be bead bags, right? That's what we marked when we first came down. That's them. Yeah. Yeah. And there should be a connector just to the north. Yep. So if we head from here, we head at a, a bearing of 045. I think this is kind of one of our prime locations for a tool basket landing zone. Okay. Oh, there's the connector. Yeah. So this is pillow lava. 
Oh, this is a different place. We, we landed earlier around a couple of bean bags, and this is a, a bunch all. Yeah, it is a different bean so bag. So this is a different situation. cluster. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I think this is what we're looking at here. Okay. It right. is, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's, it's just not where you There is something really else just slightly further north there, look. Yeah, it'll just, it'll be a cable. Okay. okay. So I'll, I'll put a um, target here, the cluster of bead bags. Sure. The IP should really just be um, off to our port side, not too far. But we're going to look uh, to the starboard. The other one that was marked when we first landed, it was just marked as a, oh, we might want to pick up a bead bag later. Yeah. So stick to 045 and have a look up here, yeah? Yes, please. Sorry, Atalanta is still coming, but slowly. Okay. Can we just look at what's over there to the right? Say. That looks like maybe debris from a previous tool basket. There's that train wheel that uh, we saw yeah, in the beginning exactly of the Yeah, that's exactly where we landed. Yeah, yeah so we yeah. Could, this is our previous tool basket landing zone. Yeah. So it's not a bad reference point. So like just so, so do you want a coordinate for that then, AJ? Um, for like a target for your drop? Yeah, I mean, we, we don't want to land right on it, but I think if we're kind of looking around here and we find a section that's a little flatter, I don't th I think that's worth marking. So, I mean, it's hard to say, but like, like oops, wrong one. Oh, go away. There you go. Like this area here. Yeah, right in there. Okay. So yeah, pretty much, Looks pretty, pretty much right, yeah. right in front of the ROV right, right now. In front of the ROV, okay. I think that's a great coordinate. Got a target there. Sure. I'll come down and put the sub on it, mate. You can take the fix there. Yeah, Raj. Should we just confirm the location of this ADCP? Yeah. I think can you so. just pay out a little bit, mate, please? These cables are all yeah. these ones, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got enough sleep, bud? Cheers. There you go, you can take your fix on there. Roger that. If you haven't already. Oh, no. Right. Put one there, and I'll put one over here. It's cool. Cheers. Something right in front of us, too. Did you get that, Sean? Excellent, thank you. Um, okay, if we can head north from here, you'll see some cables that are running to the northeast. Um, what's our heading right now? 10? Yeah, so you see those cables dead ahead? Yep. We'll just follow those to the northeast. There should be an ADCP at the end of them, and we'll just sort of okay. confirm its location and take a mark. Going further north, yep. I'm just going to bump north anyway, because that's where we're going to be operating 20 more meters north. Bridge now. Step two zero meters north. Thank you. Following the green cable or Cable follow? Mm -hmm. AJ or Dirk or whoever's there? Yeah. Following the green cable, Green mate? cable, yep. Okay. Confirmed. We'll come back and follow these other cables in a in a second. Okay. But we'll do green cable, we'll mark the ADCP, then we'll follow it back and then we'll take these cables north. No worries.
Yeah, we're coming around the south side of the grotto, but we're just going to the ADCP, um, which is going to be here, not there. And just confirming its location, we got a potential landing zone for the toolbox here, IP, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. All right. Instead of just going blindly yeah. <laughs> that way, let's just eye up the cable. <laughs> Swing that. Well, that. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So uh, that still tracks with our offset. Just yeah. So that's awesome. If we've got that reference, then we can uh, we can go. We don't really need to spend too much time looking at this. Okay. It's I'll really just, just it. helping us work through our bearings okay. here as we make it. So if we follow the green cable back around to where you saw the blue yep. and the orange cable, then we'll take those north northeast. Okay, still waiting on Atalanta before we were able to follow those. But sure, we'll, yeah. Uh, so, so Dave, just giving you some... Stand, stand by, uh, AJ. We're getting yep. Them. We can do it in a second. I'm going to sort of come kind of low, because then that little drift up isn't going to matter, and that will still be in view. All right? Just let people know we're going to do a quick test. All right. Yep, go for it. OK, dead stick. That's too low. If that. Mm -hmm. That's the problem right there. Yep. Yeah, that's the problem. Nope. Do you want to send a, a diver down? Just give it a tweak. <laughs> Okay, AJ, so we're going to follow that green cable back until we hit the blue and oranges and follow one of those? Yep, okay. correct. Yeah, we'll follow. Those will kind of run together up so the north uh, east side of Grotto where our they are camera and lights will be. Okay. Just here. Are we going to go to the camera and lights? Yes, we are. Way. Okay. And cool. so, yep. it, yeah, just a warning to Dave, I guess, that off to the left, as you transit north, off to your left is this hydrothermal vent. Okay. You know, uh, yeah, area called Grotto, and Go so we want to we want to get a really good survey of these cables to yep. make sure that they're still intact. But they're going to be sort of spanning crevices and all. They're going to be kind of crazy. Okay. So yeah, just try your best to sort of look at them. You can see there are three. Yep. Um, ooh, I think we. Yeah, let's stay on this side of the rock. Let's stay on the side that has the two. Okay, no problem. And we'll we'll sort of pick and choose which way we want to go. 